So I'm back in the studio for this one guys to let you know that DJI have launched another version of their flight app for Android. This is version 1.6.12 but the build number has changed slightly and this is now 1610. Now what I'm going to do in this video is tell you basically a run through of what I found on this app and basically tell you not that I like uh, reporting problems but sadly I have found some and I wouldn't recommend you install this update as yet and stick around because I'm going to tell you exactly why. So to try and bring you up to speed then, the whole world and his dog was running the DJI Flight App 1.6.9. That was until Android decided to update or push out an update for Android 12, which basically rendered the DJI Flight App 1.6.9 pretty much useless. Then DJI uh, sent me a beta version of the DJI Flight App. This was 1.6.12, uh, which got absolutely thousands of you flying again, but it did come with a slight problem. So this slight problem was essentially uh, the fact that the flight logs was not working, and of course this this version was only ever a beta. A couple of days later DJI actually launched a new version of their flight app. This was a full official release and they called it 1.6.10 um, which is going backwards in numbers compared to the beta we'd already seen but it is what it is. And then a couple of days after that DJI launched the 1.6.12 official app which came with some nice tasty features. Personally I do prefer this where instead of having the app gallery within the DJI Flight app what actually happens is once you take a photo for example it will automatically sync straight to your phone if you're using a phone and then what it will do is it will put a photo that you've just taken straight into your devices gallery meaning you can quickly and easily share to social media and there was a problem with that DJI flight app 1.6.12 so although it had this nice shiny new feature unfortunately when I went out testing it with this guy the DJI Mini 2 I found that the flight logs were not syncing I posted this video to say that uh, the flight logs were not syncing and I would actually avoid this version however today as I've just just mentioned in the outset to this video we have got 1.6.12 again but a slightly different build number so after going through all the menus as I usually do I can confirm that there is no additional features for this app update it is purely to fix the previous error uh, where the flight logs were not syncing but to check that this was working all correctly I of course had to put the drone up in the air so I've taken out the DJI Mini 2 just to see what exactly is going on and what I wanted to do is just take the drone out um, and I did, I performed basically a set distance. Uh, so as you can see, I flew to a distance of 400 meters at 120 meters high or 119 meters if you wish, just so I could accurately read check that uh, that it was performing correctly when it actually synced into my flight logs and I can confirm that everything was working exactly as it should. Now I did find a really really small niggly little bug within the DJI Fly app. Again I'm talking specifically for Android by the way. It may well be that iOS users have a slightly better experience and do not suffer from these issues. But what I found is every time I powered down the controller, powered down the drone and then powered back up again and restarted the DJI Fly app for some reason again such a silly thing um, but my uh, LED light I do have set on yellow and for some bizarre reason uh, the display on the actual app kept saying that it was on grey um, whereas it was actually displaying yellow so it was doing what I wanted it to do but um, the display was inaccurate and most importantly and this is really niggly and frustrating because it's something that most people use Every time I restarted the DJI Fly app, for some reason the toggle uh, for the uh, allowing the upward gimbal rotation again turned itself off, um, which was just something that's really niggly and really stupid, but really something that really should be displaying correctly in all fairness. But aside from that, performing a couple of flights um, that I did with this drone, I can confirm that the app does seem to be working absolutely fine, at least on my device anyway. But of course, you know, please do let me know your thoughts and what your experience is in the comment section below. But overall, as it seems, um, just 
down to the little niggly bugs that is on the DJI Fly 1.6.12, I would still, at this stage, my personal recommendation, and as you know by now, this is kind of what I do, um, as much as I don't like giving bad news, I would stick to 1.6.10, uh, because even this new version, which has been launched this evening, doesn't seem to be performing just how I would like and confident enough to say that you should install it, uh, no questions asked. So that wraps up this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.